Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is 2000 Toyota Tacoma SR5 V6 four wheel drive baby. And she came today for check engine light. So she has very low miles, 114,000 miles. She's in very good shape, V6 engine, 5 ZFE, but she had three coats and Basically, we will be looking here on oxygen sensor or AF sensor. There are two on the exhaust. This is the first one. We call it upstream or it's a bank 1S1. The second one is past the catalytic converter, which is right here. You can see it hidden here with a shield, but the wire coming into cabin this way so we will be dealing with this one we will be making sure that this sensor is not burned but where the coats and the scanner showed me three coats p0125 which is insufficient coolant temperature for closed loop fuel control and then there were two other coats p1133 which is af air fluid, fuel right air fuel sensor circuit response malfunction bank 1s1 and followed with p1135 af sensor heater circuit malfunction b1s1 i erased the codes they were not coming immediately back and we will look on that b1s1 right now so the sensor is located right there and it has a very short wiring harness and there is a connector there i cannot film and remove it in the same time so i will disconnect it and then we will take some measurements and see if that heater circuit on the sensor it's really has a malfunction if it's burnt or what is happening with it after disconnecting that sensor wire from the connector which is on the side of transmission you will get this connector this is the shape of it and it has a white blue and two black wires the two black wires are for that heater it's a heated sensor as a heater and we will be checking with multimeter resistance between these two black ones so let's go and do that right now here is my multimeter with the probes first is voltage we don't need that and here is the impedance or resistance in ohms measure, measured in ohms does this have a light do you see it maybe better so look first i do all of us i check the probes are okay it needs to go to zeros we just did and now you will be watching the multimeter and I will try here above you the, the wire is short I will try to touch both connectors and let's see what's the resistance on those so black and black we said right correctly I already did that but I'm touching it again and guess what guys I will show you how I'm touching the wires and it's completely open that heater is completely burnt because there's absolutely zero change in the reading once again you just want to make sure it's working right boom when I touch them there should be when it's brand new when that sensor is brand new there should be approximately two three four ohms only right we know the multimeter is working that sensor it's completely the heater uh, circuit in it it's completely burnt there is full open there's not even kilo ohms or mega ohms that is done and that needs to be replaced you can see it's held only by two nuts it's not so difficult uh, this one doesn't seem to be rusted in or anything so i will just go ahead order the new part and continue this repair when you go to order the parts 
you will get in shock. That sensor or this engine, if it was non-California, could be less than 100 bucks. And if it has a California emissions, it will be 200 bucks. So let's go look how lucky is the owner. And this is where you look. This is where the, all the info is, right? So it's a Toyota vehicle info. This vehicle conforms to US EPA and LEV regulations applicable to gasoline and fuel 2000 model year, new LEV light duty truck and to California regulations applicable to 2000 model year, new LEV light duty trucks. So we have to go for California part. The owner will pay double. As we are waiting for those parts, or for the part, we can go ahead and remove it. So it's a 12 millimeter nuts, two nuts. There are basically two studs coming out of that exhaust pipe and this opening for the sensor so one of the nuts is nicely off obviously make it easy for future i will be putting a bunch of anti-seas that might be supply if the sensor even like a little pouch little squeeze tube of anti-seas is normally uh, in the package you don't have to even have it in your garage if you do it yourself, right? So this is totally, I will consider this very easy. Very easy removal. Another nut is coming out. You will see the sensor and its gasket. probably show the measurement on the bench on the table here here you go here is the sensor and here we will be replacing this little gasket hopefully you can see it so even the non-believers can believe right how can we Put this so you see the display nicely. We said it's open, and here is the removed sensor. Black, black, we said, right? It's a white, blue, black, black. Once again, now I have it nicely here. I can touch them. And look, that open, it's not changing. The delivery was successful. We have my favorite dancer. Let's see what is inside. Let's compare the measurements which we just did together. We will see what the new California emissions AF sensor heater circuit will give us for numbers. Hmm. I kept telling you there should be anti seas included with it, but guess what? This one is missing it. Did somebody steal it? Okay. Get rid of the old junk. It's in the way. Let's measure the new one. All right. So, you have a good view of the multimeter. This is what I keep talking about. Black and black are here on this side. You always compare these, right? So the wires needs to be in exactly same spot. It's important, obviously, not to have any malfunctions. But this is direct fit from then, so so you don't expect any problems here. Now let's see what the brand new heater circuit resistance is uh, 
I don't want to bend these, so I'm being careful with it. Here we go. Two point zero, one point nine ohms. It's not kilo ohms, mega ohms. It's just the ohms. So very, very little resistance on a brand new heater of the AF sensor. Excellent. I still have one of those anti-seize squeeze pouches or whatever you call it. This is what was there in past. So I guess. Everybody's worried about the coast and they are not giving it there anymore. That is a copper anti seize. This is what I use, right? So I will definitely put it over those threads, over those studs, so it's guaranteed it will be removable in the future. Don't forget that new gasket. It's Relatively a lot of space, I will say. Nothing difficult. We should be not even filming it. I don't think there's any reason to film this. And I am done because I already erased the coats. So I will just run it. I can still recheck with the scanner. But this should be perfectly finished, done. Relatively easy procedure on this 2000. Tacoma. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, give it all a thumb up and please subscribe. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.